In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And it's so good to be with all of you this morning. I, I, I was away this last week with a bunch of other priests down in a city called Winona, but I'm so glad to be back with you. I really missed you, so it's great to be with you here this morning. I hope you've had a great week as well. So as we're preparing to celebrate these mysteries, we call to mind our need for God's love and for his mercy as we call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, strength of those who hope in you, Graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, since many boast according to the flesh, I too will boast to my shame. I say that we, we were too weak. But what anyone dares to boast of, I am speaking to foolishness. I also dare, are there Hebrews? So am I. Are they children of Israel? So am I. Are you de descendants of Abraham? So am I. Are they mis ministers of Christ? I am talking like an insane person. I am still more with far greater labors, far more imprisonments, far worse beatings, and Numerous brushes with death. Five times at the hand of Jews, I received 40 lashes minus one. Three times I was be beaten with rods. Once I was stoned three times. I was shipwrecked. I passed a night and day on the deep. On fragrant journeys, in danger from rivers, dangers from robbers, Dangers from my own space, dangers from gentle lies, danger in the city, danger in the wildness, danger at the sea, danger among false brothers, in toll and hardship, through many sleepless nights, through hunger and thirst, through fragrant fastings, through a cold and ex exposure. And apart from these things, there is the daily pressure upon me, on my anxiety from all the churches. Who is weak? Am I am not weak? Who is led to sin? Am I not in, in, indignant? If I must boast, I will boast of the things that show my weakness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you. From all their distress, God rescues the just. From, From all their distress, God rescues the just. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be over in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lower 
will hear me and be glad. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I shout the Lord, and he answers me, and delivered me from all my fears. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Look at him that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces must not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress, he saved him. From all their distress, God rescues the just. Alleluia. 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 Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and decay destroy and thieves break in and steal, but store up treasures in heaven where neither moth nor decay destroys nor thieves break in and steal for where your treasure is there also will your heart be the lamp of the body is the eye if your eye is sound your whole body will be filled with light But if your eye is bad, your whole body will be in darkness. And if the the light in you is darkness, how great will the darkness be? The Gospel of the Lord. When I was a kid, I used to have a huge, um, what do you call it, a a huge bin where all of my toys were put, okay, it was huge. I couldn't put my arm around it, it was just this big bin. Does anybody here have a toy bin as well? Okay, so maybe all of us do, right? I remember remember when when we made a sit in our room, we would, my mom would tell us to clean up and we'd take all of our toys and just throw it back into the bin as quick as possible. We'd have games trying, trying to clean it all up as much as possible. But I also remember that in that bin at the bottom, there were toys there that we never played with because you had to dig to get to them. They were there, there at the very bottom. And I remember thinking about that, how I, how I used to play with those toys. Every now and then I'd dig around and I'd get to the bottom and take them out. I was like, oh, I, rem- I remember this toy. And I'd start to play with it like it was new again. But then the next week I would forget all about it and it wasn't important anymore. I remember thinking that. I remember reflecting on that because I, I, I used to ask my mom and my dad over and over again, I want more toys. I remember there was... <laughs> There was one toy that I really wanted. It was the, you guys probably haven't seen Star Wars. Have you guys seen all the stuff? Okay, so you remember that there was one, was kind of the scary monster where it was thrown into a pit and that scary monster came after him. This is one of the earlier ones. I loved that monster, okay? <laughs> and I wanted that toy. And it was a cool toy because when you push the button, the mouth would open and shut. He was a very dangerous toy, okay? And I, and I got it. But I remember a couple of months later, I got bored with that toy too. And I remember thinking about it. I'm getting all of these toys, but then we throw it into the bin, and then I get tired with it. And I, and I keep wondering, so what am I going to do with all of these toys? And we're just going to keep amassing, and it's not actually fulfilling what I really want in my heart so that there was a problem here right there's a kind of a problem 
But as part of what Jesus here is speaking, it's not exactly, but as part of what it is. Everything here on earth, all of our toys or those things, you know, that we, that we think have value for a while, they're all decaying. They're, they're not going to satisfy what is most deep in our hearts. And, but yet Jesus says there's something else that we can prepare for, something else that we can receive even now that actually does satisfy our hearts. He says here, instead of storing up toys in your toy bin, store up treasures in heaven. Treasures in heaven. What is he talking about? Any thoughts at all? What, what are treasures in heaven? What might that look like? Go ahead, Otto. Sorry, I gotta come a little closer. Things that you really hold on to, things that are gonna last, right? But what would that be? What, what's gonna last forever? Go ahead. God. God will last forever, right? And where, where is God right now? In He's in heaven? In and in your hearts, right? So when you have him living there, that relationship with God, the, the, his life within you, is forever, right? And that will live forever. And it's that relationship with God, is that, does that give us joy? It, it does, right? Even if we don't see him, we don't feel him, his life in us fills us with real joy. Now, Evelyn, did you have a thought too? What? Say that again. A note from your sister. And the reason that lasts is because it's from love, right? So that love that we give lasts forever. Will we be able to love in heaven? Yeah, right? So if we have hearts that love, we can do that forever. We don't ever have to stop loving, right? What about, what about forgiving? You guys ever, do you ever forgive anybody? You know, that kind of, it's, sometimes it's hard, but it's also kind of fun because it's a tremendous gift you can give to someone. If someone hurts you, you can go into your heart. You don't even have to tell them, but you just say, in my heart, I forgive them. And there's a tremendous, what, what happens is that we become people, our hearts change so that we are people who are forgiving. And that's the kind of people we become when we go into heaven. We mentioned God, of course, so God is living here. Another one we can develop our relationship with is there's someone else that's right on your, right on your shoulder all the time. Who is that, you think? Someone who's really close, someone that God gave to you, someone who loves you, someone who watches over you all the time? Who is that? Jesus, yes? Yes, absolutely. It is Jesus who is living in you. I'm thinking of someone else too. So he's given us so many. I'm going to ask Evelyn here. Our guardian angels, right? Is that what you're going to say, Emery? Yeah. And we can talk with them. Do you know we, we will be with our angels forever. So in a way, we're already in heaven. They're living with us. So these are just some of the, the things that are, are heavenly that we can have right now and enjoy it. Of course, there's more, but these are just some of the things that we can do right now to enjoy deep joy even now. Okay? Let's stand together and we'll offer our prayers to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the body of Christ, may God help us remain faithful to his commandments and grow in the fullness of his truth. We pray to the Lord. 
for the salvation of the world. May God heal our brokenness and draw us together in love. We pray to the Lord. For all of those who are sad, may God's love be made real in their lives. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered here, that we may taste and know and love the eternal things of heaven now as we live our lives, we pray to the Lord. For all of those who have died, especially for Mark and Macrina Sudbeck, for whom this Mass is being offered, may God's love and mercy surround them and bring them to his everlasting kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord. Heavenly Father, we offer these prayers in gratitude for all you have done. Hear them and answer us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. 
fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The, the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so it may bring about unity in your church through Christ our Lord. Amen. So again, just to, once again, I'm so glad you guys are here this week, and I'm really sorry I, I missed most of it. And um, so, but, but I also want to ask for your prayers this afternoon. I know you're going to be having fun, but we have a, a couple a young couple who is getting married here in the church this afternoon. That's why we have some of these chairs here and why we have this out here. This is for the unity candle. And you'll see up here, they get to sit up here uh, up on the altar when they're married. That's because when they're getting married, they're choosing God to be in their life, to be a major part of their married life together. So if you could please pray for them. And that's happening this afternoon at one o'clock, so very, very soon, okay? The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace.